I think what makes you Eureka special is the fact you can learn through, through playing, through hands-on. I was not, definitely not one of these people who would have learned through getting told to get the art. I, I didn't like going to museums where everything was behind glass boxes and you couldn't touch anything. Hi, I'm Alistair Brownlee. I'm a triathlete. Hi, I'm Jonathan Brownlee and I'm known for being Alistair's younger brother. <laughs> I can't exactly remember the first time I went to Eureka, but I know I was pretty young, so I must have been very young, I can't remember. Um, obviously, it's quite local to us and we were all always very interested in science when we were growing up. Um, and I think I can remember the thing that fascinated me most was the uh, skeleton. Yeah, well, I remember sitting on, um, sitting on a bike, which obviously bikes, when you pedalled around seeing the skeleton pedal to my left hand side. <laughs> Is that why you're interested in cycling? Maybe, yeah. Maybe, uh -huh. uh, maybe it ignited my uh, love of cycling from an early age. Well, I, again, I can't remember exactly the first time I went to Eureka. If Alistair can't remember, then I was probably dragged along as a, as a baby. So, but what I remember is obviously learning um, through play. And I was always one of these people who had to you know, go into a museum and touch things and interact with them. And I really like that side. And just things like that, the, the human body. So I remember the big uh, nose, the big. Uh, mouth uh, that you could climb into and, um, and, learn, and learn about the human body that way. When I was young, I think I was like many other kids, I wanted to be an astronaut because you like, want to go to space. And then you kind of grow up a little bit. And then uh, quickly I got involved in triathlon from the age of 15, 16, and then I really wanted to be a professional triathlete. For as long as I remember, uh, I just wanted to be a professional athlete. Um, I don't know how young that was from, maybe like 12 or 13, but that was definitely kind of always my ambition. Uh, I didn't know if it was possible to be a professional triathlete at the time. In fact, I think you thought it was impossible, but um, yeah, I, th I think that's always what I wanted to do. I think if I uh, could be a child for one day, I think I'd just uh, embrace like the carefreeness of it, uh, of it all, and just uh, enjoy, enjoy doing whatever I wanted to do and not worry about it. I'd love to be able to go back to exploring the world and it all being very new. Um, obviously now we go to some very new places and around the world and explore them, but back as a child when your own uh, back garden is very, very exciting and very new. Just have fun in your natural environment.